So we are over a year into Pokemon Horizons episode 53 and I thought it would be a perfect time to take a look at Liko and Roy's progress as main protagonists and see how well they are doing at replacing Ash. Have they done enough? Let's talk about it. So for starters Horizons is very different to the traditional Pokemon anime so it would be unfair to make the comparisons directly on what the characters are achieving. Horizons is a lot slower paced and focuses on different things has way more characters, a whole crew to develop. It's not just a journey with three or four characters traveling around one region. So there's a lot more going on, which is why the development of Liko and Roy is even more impressive. <laughs> so first up, let's take a look at Liko. So far, I really like Liko. I think she is a unique character that we haven't seen much similar to in Pokemon. She has this shyness about her, this habit of overthinking, overanalyzing people around her, and it's something that's pretty relatable. There's times where she takes people's feelings to heart too much, like where she forfeited the battle at Kabu's gym so that she didn't hurt Wakaba and her prospects of becoming a gym sidekick. There's a lot of positive things with her personality. She's caring, but she can be too caring. And that often sets her back, and we've even recently seen her clash with Florigato because she's doing too much. Florigato is very protective over her and hates to see her taken advantage of, but I think we are slowly seeing her growth as time goes on and seeing her take charge of her own life and actually enjoy this adventure. It's been some fantastic development. At this point, Liko has Florigato and her tenor, and she's done a great job with both of them. Obviously she has had the most conflict with Florigato but they really care for each other and their bond is shown every time they have an episode to focus on it. It's one of the best partnerships in Horizon so far so I'm pretty confident in it becoming a Meowskarada and doing some great things with Liko. Hatena is on the back burner a bit, she hasn't really battled with it or had any soul focus. He has a really adorable relationship with Terrapagos but I want to see more from Hatena, more growth and focus. And then battling wise, Liko is okay at battling at this point. She's struggling a bit, I'd say. And I think it stems down to her confidence. I think she could be a great battler if she went all out. But I feel she's more focused on befriending Pokemon and learning rather than actual battling. She did have a decent show against Katie, but she lost. And I feel like Katie could have really won that battle at any time she wanted. So I think from the main trio, she is probably the weakest battler. But it all means there's more time to grow. Liko as such a new trainer has been given so much responsibility, dealing with these evil thugs called the Explorers, given these powerful Lucius Pokemon to take care of, she's been shifted a lot so early on and she's handled it really well. So if I had to answer the simple question right now, is Liko enough to replace Ash? I would say yes, she's shown enough uniqueness, she's shown she can develop and grow and if she improves in the battling department I really think she could carry this series. And now on to the second main protagonist of Horizons, we have Roy. I completely love Roy off the bat, he brought so much energy and life into this series and he had a very familiar feeling, sharing similarities to Ash in his determination and drive and his enjoyment when it comes to battling. I kind of see it as Liko has all of Ash's adventure and befriending of Pokemon, while Roy has the passion, the spirit and the battle drive. The two of them together make up for what we're losing with Ash. Roy started off great but I do feel like he has took a back seat a bit more as time goes on. We haven't really had that many episodes focusing on him and just him. And while that may change pretty soon, I just think right now Liko is getting a bit more spotlight. Especially when Fukoko started off so well getting a bunch of new moves, I really thought it would be the first to evolve. But Liko's Sprigatito ended up evolving first. Roy needs a bit more specific focus with his Pokemon. At the time of writing this, he does have a much needed watchful episode coming up, but even his Fukoko, I feel, hasn't had much development compared to some of the great episodes we're getting with Liko and Sprigatito, now Florigato. And same as Liko, Roy just has the two Pokemon on his team at the minute being Fukoko and Watchful. This hasn't changed in a while, so I do expect a big team update for him soon. Roy is definitely one of the best battlers of the main trio. I'm not sure if he quite has Dot's tactical ability, but he is definitely a stronger battler than Liko. Just having that drive to push forward and get the most out of his Pokemon, especially when it comes to Fukoko and cheering on with singing to get it going. 
which makes me look forward to when it eventually evolves and makes the most out of its singing gimmicks. Roy was actually the only one of the trio to beat an actual gym leader, winning in his rematch with Brassius. Part of me thinks he only won here because the writers didn't want to make him lose a second time, but it still does show the growth, despite being a super effective terror type attack to get the job done, but it shows he's starting to see the bigger picture in battling and it was a good episode to develop his skills. So overall at the moment I think Roy could be enough to replace Ash, I just want to see more from him, more episodes with his Pokemon, learning and bonding. I'm confident we will be getting that soon but Roy has everything it takes to be a fantastic battler and a caring trainer, guiding his Pokemon to push new heights. We even saw that with the Watchful capture which was a very Ash Ketchum-esque capture helping Watchful learn to fly and by the time that it could fly it didn't want to leave Roy. And if we get more of these situations I'm sure Roy will be enough. So are Liko and Roy enough? The short answer for me is yes. It just takes time to develop these characters. We had Ash for 25 years, that's a lot of time. And in the short time we've had Liko and Roy, I can see so much potential for them to be great. I feel they will just keep growing no matter how slow it is. I can see gradual progress in their characters and I truly feel Horizons could be looked at as one of the best series simply for its incredible slow paced storytelling and character development. So I think they chose correctly when picking two protagonists to replace Ash and making them both so different, one with energy who's battle driven and one who's caring friendly and wants to learn everything she can. It really is a great blend for two main characters to have and I can't wait to see them grow even more over the years. But that's it for this one, let me know what you think about Liko and Roy, do you think they are enough to replace Ash in the long run? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.